neurofibromatosis type 1, or NF1, is a genetically caused neurocutaneous disorder that results in a predisposition uh, to the growth of multiple tumors in the central nervous system, including the brain, spinal cord, as well as the peripheral nervous system and skin. The cause of neurofibromatosis type 1 is a mutation in the NF1 gene. Um, it's an autosomal dominant condition. Uh, about half the time it's inherited from a parent and half the time it arises as a spontaneous mutation. The gene mutation causes an abnormality in the RAS pathway, which predisposes patients to develop uh, multiple tumor, uh, tumors and tumor types. There are a, is a tremendous variability in the types of manifestations that are uh, a result of this mutation, um, ranging from tumor formation, as I mentioned, uh, but it also can affect a variety of other organ systems. It can affect cognition and behavior, causing anxiety um, and attention, attention deficit disorder, as well as learning disabilities. Um, it can lead to uh, cafe au lait macules, which are brown birthmarks on the skin, axillary and inguinal freckling, a very characteristic freckling pattern in the armpits and the groin area, uh, something called lish nodules, which are little benign hamartomas on the iris. Uh, as well as bone abnormalities such as sphenoid wing dysplasia and tibial bowing or pseudarthrosis, which is a problem with the long bones of the leg. Um, and it can cause a variety of other manifestations as well, uh, some of which are less common, but things like vascular abnormalities, um, vitamin D deficiency, growth, def uh, uh, growth delay, um, uh, and, and others. The prevalence of neurofibromatosis type 1 is estimated to be about 1 in 3,000. Um, it's actually one of the more common rare genetic disorders, um, and there's no predilection for any specific uh, geographic location or ethnic or cultural group. Um, uh, all populations uh, have about the same incidence. And if one is usually diagnosed uh, in childhood, the skin manifestations, particularly the cafe au lait spots, are usually apparent at birth or in the first year of life, and then kids often are come to attention through their pediatric exam where the cafe au lait spots are noticed. Um, the possibility of a diagnosis of NF1 is raised, and then they're typically referred on to neurology or genetics for further evaluation. Um, the average age of diagnosis is probably somewhere between two and five. Neurofibromatosis type 1 is usually uh, diagnosed based on clinical symptoms, and there's a wide range of clinical symptoms associated with neurofibromatosis type 1. The diagnostic symptoms include cafe au lait macules, which are flat, brown, pigmented macules on the skin, uh, a distinctive pattern of freckling called axillary or inguinal freckling, uh, lish nodules, which are benign hamartomas of the iris, optic pathway gliomas, which are astrocytomas of the optic pathway, neurofibromas of uh, a variety of different types, either cutaneous neurofibromas or plexiform neurofibromas. Um, and then distinctive bone abnormalities such as sphenoid wing dysplasia and tibial bowing. In addition, the presence of a first degree family member would also count as a diagnostic criteria. In addition to these clinical criteria, there are other uh, potential clinical manifestations and signs of NF, um, including choroidal nodules on the retina, um, nevus anemicus, which, is, uh, which are white patches on the skin, um, a variety of other tumor types, including pheochromocytomas, um, which can manifest as hypertension. Um, patients can have vascular abnormalities, including carotid stenosis and moya moya, or renal artery stenosis. Um, they can also uh, be, uh, have short stature um, and uh, sometimes present with, uh, and also can have a, an increased incidence of certain types of cancer.